Shocking facts about North Korean missiles used by Russia in Ukraine have come to light. Ukrainian experts have studied the wreckage of North Korean KN-23 ballistic missiles, which the Russian Federation used to attack Ukraine's infrastructure in early 2024. London-based think tank Rusi breaks down the findings. According to Defense Express, specialists from the Central Scientific Research Institute of Armament and Military Equipment of the Armed Forces of Ukraine conducted the study, uncovering that at least some elements were received from Russia, demonstrating the real scale of military cooperation between Moscow and Pyongyang in missile technology. As further detailed, during examination of KN-23, missiles used by the Russian forces against Ukraine, the researchers found that the KN-23 missile's cruise engine utilizes Russian rotary hood technology, as evidenced by the annular grooves seen in the missile wreckage. All markings on the KN-23 missile components are made in accordance with Russian standards, specifically the Unified System of Design Documentation and the GOST 2.113-75 Group and Basic Design Documents. The chemical composition of the materials used in the rocket elements indicates their Russian origin. The fuel tank body is made from Russian steel types 12X2 NVFA, 19X2 NVFA, 21X2 NVFA and 23X2 NVFA, while the gas dynamic control surfaces are made from a Russian grade 9 tungsten alloy commonly used in Russian industry. These findings may look sensational, but in fact, missile tech cooperation between Russia and North Korea spans dozens of years dating back to Soviet times. For instance, the North Korean KN-02 is a copy of the Tochka U short-range ballistic missile, while Hwasong-5 and Hwasong-7 were based on the Elbrus. Officially, the North Korea obtained these technologies by copying them from Egypt and Syria, though it is unlikely these countries acted independently without Moscow's involvement, considering it has the right to withhold such transfers as the original owner. Furthermore, Russia's role in aiding North Korea to develop intermediate-range ballistic missiles under the guise of peaceful space programs has gone without a proper reaction and attention from the West. Shortly put, in the 1990s, Russia and the North Korea agreed to develop a launch vehicle based on the R-27 ship-borne ballistic missile. However, instead of a space rocket, by 2010, North Korea had developed its own intermediate-range ballistic missiles, the Hwasong-10 or Musudan, which bore a striking resemblance to the R-27. Sea and air drones of the Ukraine hit the Russian Coast Guard base on Lake Donislav last night. The occupying Russian naval forces conducted exercises to protect the waters of Lake Donislav in Crimea. Thanks to the Ukrainian drones, these exercises became a failure, because the Russians could not even defend their base, not to mention the waters of the lake. As a result of a combined attack by sea and air drones on the Russian Coast Guard base, the following were hit and disabled, headquarters with a control center, ammunition and equipment warehouse, electrical substation, technical structures, enemy firing positions. This is another reminder to the enemy that Ukrainian Crimea is turning into a trap for the Russians, in which they will be systematically destroyed. Because, as the head of the security service Vasily Malyuk said, death is the only prospect that we can offer to the occupiers, said an informed source in the security service. In the temporarily occupied Crimea, in the area of Lake Donislav, where explosions were heard last night, fires were recorded, there are consequences of the explosions in Myrny, the Crimean Wind Telegram Channel reports. Fires have been reported in the area of Lake Donislav, where explosions were heard last night, according to the Crimean Wind Monitoring Group. In Myrn, as indicated, it was not only loud, but there were consequences of the explosions. Russia claims that its regular air defense systems destroyed and intercepted 33 UAVs over the temporarily occupied Crimea. And two, in Russia, over the Bryansk region. The Russian Ministry of Defense also stated that it had destroyed 10 unmanned boats heading in the direction of the Crimean Peninsula in the Black Sea.